verses 9 through 10. And God said, let the waters that are under the sky be gathered together in one place and let the dry land appear. And it was so. And God called the dry land earth and the gathering together of the waters he called seas. And God saw that it was good. <clears throat> and God saw that it was good. So everything being spoken about here is under the sky, under the firmament, under the separation between superconscious and everything below it. And God said, now he's invoking. <laughs> it's so hilarious. So now it is being invoked. The Most High Creator is invoking. Let the waters that are under the sky be gathered together in, in one place and let the dry land appear. It was invoked and it was so. Invocation, the environment responded, the universe responded. So the water, the experience, let the life experience underneath the superconscious mind be gathered together in one place. Okay, we, yeah, yeah, you can have dreams, you can go astral project, but the majority of your life experience is gathered together in one place, this conscious 3D physical reality. And God called the dry land earth, consciousness earth, and the gathering together of the waters, he called seas. Consciousness. And God saw that it was good. Sky, superconscious, land and earth, subconscious, and seas, the conscious. And now we have the structure of the mind. So, along with the uh, conditions of your birth this week, and kind of assessing that and if and if you know feel free once you get that together and you're kind of contemplating it you know feel free to send me an email at awaken within 333 at gmail.com feel free to send me an email of that and ask for you know any insight that i see or anything you know you can share what you kind of see so far and things you know if you want to get a, a objective perspective and additional perspective um to help you with your own perspective yeah feel free Send it to me and I'll help you out as much as I can, whenever I can, uh, for any amount of time that I'm able to. But in addition to that, this week, I want everyone, it, I mean, it is vital between, you know, this week and next week, or if you're watching the recordings, it is vital that, or you watch the next one, and after watching this one, go and watch the movie Ad Astra. Okay, I'll write it out for you. Ad Astra. Main star is Brad Pitt. Yeah, I think it's just Ad Astra with Brad Pitt. I mean, if you can't find it on any streaming service, I don't, I don't, maybe HBO has it. HBO Max, I think, maybe. I don't know. I meant to go look before this to kind of tell people. But at, at the bare minimum, it's on Amazon you, you or somewhere like that. You can rent it for, you know, three bucks, five bucks. Little to the value that you're going to get from it. But watch it. And as you're watching it, you know, go ahead and see what you see, you know. So I'll, I'll give you one, I'll give you one big thing here. Outer space. Outer space in dreams represents the inner space. So see, you know, watch the movie, see what all you can uh, derive from it.